This morning, kids all over Mailu are heading back into the classroom. One room in particular stands out in the St. Louis Public School System. It's a colorful place where images teach self-awareness. It's the place. Does anyone else's room look like this? Absolutely not. Dr. Tate always dreamed it to be. It's what I dream in my head that an art room should look like, so I was like, I will make it. The makings of the usual art room, as well as the unusual, where kids experience an awakening. The littles are probably my favorite because that's when art is magic. But this space is also painting a picture of inclusion and equality. I really believe in diversifying my curriculum so that it is culturally reflective of my students. The images on the walls. I really try to be mindful of the work that I put on the walls. Subconsciously. It'll slowly seep in, <laughs> you know? So I don't even have to necessarily directly teach. Teaching the kids about life's possibilities. It's more important for them to see themselves in who I'm teaching and what I'm teaching. Art. I loved to make things when I was little. Did just that for her. The art room was where I could go and feel seen and I could go and feel understood. Now, Dr. Tate wants her students to understand how art can inspire. Art is a visual language and its own form of literacy. Be a difference maker. I want them to see that art has power. And empower them through self-expression. A huge fan and advocate of letting like your freak flag and your inner weirdo fly. In the art room she dreamed of. I think I was always sort of destined to be a teacher. Giving kids the opportunity to discover their true selves. Fill the space with all of the good vibes and the good messages. And imagine their future. You just gotta do you. Like that's my biggest message. Dr. Tate also teaches art at Brian Hill Elementary School in the College Hill neighborhood. By the way, her rabbit's name is Vanilla Ice. She says he helps comfort the younger students. And